Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool currently being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Let's see if you can answer this actual JE question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this full video. Now, work done by a spring when the point P moves along the spring. In the sense, let us consider this is the spring. Fixed at one end. I will take a point P here at this corner. Now when a force is applied, this point P moves along the spring that is parallel to this point. That means next instant, the spring will expand like this. And this point P which was at this point here, now will reach to this point because of the force what is applied. So the displacement altogether for the spring will be x. What will be the force applied by the spring? Now as soon as you pull the spring by certain amount x, the spring will expand. Immediately due to elasticity, there will be a force developed in the backward direction. Let me call this force is Fsp, that is the force of the spring. It will try to bring back the spring to the normal position. But we are doing work done against this force of the spring to displace the body by x. Let us look into this one. Right. As soon as this force is removed, the spring will again come back and come to its natural length. When the spring is being pulled by applying an external force, there will be internally a force developed in the spring that is called the spring force which will always try to bring back the spring to the normal condition. So when you pull this body forward, this will expand by certain amount called x. As soon as the body is left, the spring will again immediately come back to the normal position because internally there is a force inside it. Now, so from its original position, so with respect to its original unexpanded length or the unstretched length, now it has stretched by some amount x because you have given an external force is applied on the spring. So inside the spring, there will be a force developed trying to pull back the spring to its natural length. If you pull the free end P of the massless spring, the spring will pull with a force F. SP. This is the spring force. That spring force will be Kx where K is the stiffness force per unit length of the spring. Right? If you check the direction of the spring, the force due to the spring is Fsp and the displacement because we applied an applied force is in this direction. Angle between the force and the displacement is 180 degrees. So, what will be the work done by the spring force? Work done by the spring force will be the spring force dot ds vector or w will be equal to spring force ds cos of angle now 180 degrees. So it will be negative minus f spring force into ds. This is the work done. We know the spring force. We can substitute the value of the spring force. So w is equal to the spring force is kx. Now ds. ds displacement is very small displacement along x direction. Let me call that as dx. So initial xi, let me call this as initial point. x final is the final position. kx dx. So we can write this as minus half of k x final square minus x initial square. This is the total work done in expanding the spring from a displacement x initial to x final. x initial and x final are the deformation. So we will know this point. If x final is greater than x initial, then work done on the spring will be negative. If x final is equal to x initial, again we come back to the same displacement. Work done by the spring force is zero. x final is less than x initial, then work done by the spring force is positive. So a spring can perform positive, negative as well as zero work. If we take initially x initial to be equal to 0, that means the spring is in its natural length and x final is equal to x, then work done by the spring should be equal to half of kx square minus. Spring always perform negative work when deformed, compressed or elongated. It does not matter. From its relaxed undeformed position, whenever the spring is compressed or elongated, 
the spring will do a negative work and that work done will be minus half of kx square. From its undeformed length, either you pull the spring in this direction or you push so that it compresses. Compressed or elongated. In whichever condition it may be, from its relaxed length if you take it, always the work done will be negative and that will be half of kx square. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning. You can check now. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos. Use the comment section below to post your feedback, questions or queries. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4000 videos and over 20,000 questions. These can be accessed online on our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.